here uh, as your sheriff. Last year, I was appointed to be the first black sheriff in 105 years. When I first came into this position, I knew that we were going to have to bridge the gap between all our different aspects of our community, and we've done that. Pendant que nous venions, nous connais que faut nous débattions en pont entre toute communauté nous yon. Nous devons commencer faire ça. For the first time in 105 years, our command staff looked like Broward County. Pour première fois en 105 ans d'existence là, pour première fois ouais que staff moyen côté que ma travail là, tout le monde ça a eu reflété Broward County qui veut dire communauté. Ça c'est une belle bague. Nous avons besoin de la Broward County. We now, have, we now have men and women in leadership that are Cuban-American, Jamaican-American, Haitian-American, and now we're more reflective to have a better understanding about how we are supposed to serve you all. We get Cuban, we get Haitian, we get Jamaican, we get more understanding of the community because we don't have any staff in there. This was very important for me to establish because there is a natural distrust with black folks, whether it be Jamaican, Haitian, Whatever it may be, with law enforcement. Bon, get. Tout ça c'est important pour nous faire établir ça parce que toujours qu'il y a une méfiance entre communauté ça ou avec police policier. And I know this to be true because I grew up in a very poor community in Philadelphia. Et nous connais ça c'est vrai parce que c'est une grande ville dans Philadelphie en une communauté qui pauvre. And the police officers during that time did not care for us. Instead, they harassed us. They treated us differently. And I was received blessings from God to be able to make it out of these violent, bad communities to now arrive here as the chief law enforcement officer for the entire county. So, and so I'm obligated. I'm obligated to all of you. I'm obligated to all the many men and women of dark skin and of minority class who have come before me, who have come before you to give us all the opportunity to be in this country and live a prosperous life. I'm obligated to do this job well. Who sense is your obligation? Is your obligation for the men? Because the men who are here on the other side will be able to do this. And one of the things I would challenge you all is to not become complacent with the early success we are having. We don't buy my language, we say from our bar, Vincent, and to our less, but we want to succeed. We have so much more work to do. We need to be able to bond and unite together. We need to use our brain for it. We as an organization will not have success unless we can have the community as part of us. And I know this to be true because for every church, every community that I have visited, everyone is desperate to have a relationship with our organization. The Sheriff's Office in Broward County is very unique uh, compared to other places in the United States and that this is one of the most powerful seats in this entire county. 
non classe qui est plus puissante dans toute communauté. Dans tout le monde, c'est une grosse position. Et avec la puissance, vient un niveau de responsabilité. Lorsque vous avez toute puissance, il faut être responsable. Je peux choisir de faire du bien pour moi. Or I could choose to do good for you. You can 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 choose to do good for you. So, it is my goal to make sure that this community, the Haitian community, understands that we are not going to ostracize or forget about the different issues and concerns that you may have. We have a community of Haitians, that's what I said, that we don't want to push away to go away as if we don't want to be able to do the problems that we want to do. I want you all to understand that you have access. You have a voice now in this office. We want you to understand that you have access, you have a voice that we have in the office that we have. Your issues are my issues. Problems are my problems. Your concerns are my concerns. And I want to encourage you all to be closely involved. We have employment opportunities. We have community outreach programs. We need you all to take a great interest in this, and the doors open now. We want to make sure that we have an opportunity for employment, we have a community of work. We want to make sure that the doors are open now. That's what we want to make sure. For, for 105 years, people have walked through those doors and given you promises and not fulfilled them. They promise you equality. They promise you justice. They promise you inclusion. And then after you vote for them, they forget about them. I will not forget about them. I am you. The suffering and plights that you deal with and have to face in this country, I've gone through them myself. There is an old African proverb which states, each one, teach one. Which is to me, if I make it, then we all make it. If I have success, you have success. It's not about what I can do for myself. It's about what I can do for you. And what we do together for the young babies in the room. It's not about what we can get accomplished for the next four years. It's about what we accomplished for the next hundred years. So that her kids have success and have opportunities in the world. And that's my focus. It's to make sure we have longevity and equality and real opportunities to be one community. There's only one Broward County, and we all live it. And it's my job not to just be the chief law enforcement officer in this community, but to be the chief leader in this community. And I give you my word, a man of God, that I will fulfill my promises because my promises are not just to you, it is to him. I could speak all day, but we need to hear more about God. And so I would say thank you. 
Pray for me. Be with me. As we continue to push our agency forward, we're going to need your help in prayers. Monsieur Merci, Avem, Poussin, pour que nous allons pouvoir pousser à agence dans le travail communautaire Sacré-Mandéa pour que nous allons aller devant. Excellent, thank you. Nous allons commencer à poser des questions ce matin avant ça. You will understand that the Sheikh has a big task, a big job in front of him. He won't be able to do it by himself. He asks us our prayer and we want him to know that it's not something we're going to do. We're going to start doing this morning while he is among us. At the present time, I'm going to ask uh, the deacons to come next to me. We are going to put him in the middle. We're going to pray for him. You, in the congregation, you are going to turn to him. Raise your hand toward him. And God is here. He's going to hear our prayer. God is going to be with him in order to accomplish all in detail about what he has in mind for the county of God. Et moi, je suis là en anglais pour que je suis là. Oui, oui, je n'ai pas de question. Et avant de nous taxer, nous avons quelques questions, nous n'avons pas fait. Nous n'avons pas fait. Nous avons fait. Nous sommes dit là en anglais. Et nous avons demandé à Diakio de venir devant. Et nous avons mettre le chef là. En même temps, nous avons prié pour lui pour que mon Dieu soit capable de nous aider dans ça. Parce que nous connaissons tout ça pour faire. Nous n'avons pas fait sans mon Dieu. Donc c'est pour ça, ma maman dit nous, nous allons lever les mains, nous allons prier pour lui et pendant que nous allons agir avec foi. Non. Ok, let us pray. Bon Dieu, papa, nous qui dans le ciel, là, nous avons gloire, louange.